Yes, it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. Why? Um, <clears throat> like I said before, um, I feel like it's, it's going to give me the best opportunity to, to win and to win for multiple years. Um, and not only just to win in a regular season or just to win um, five games in a row or three games in a row. Um, I want to be able to win championships, and I feel like I can compete down there. Was it always in your... Kurt Flood was born January 18, 1938. He played 15 years in the major leagues for teams like the Washington Senators, the Cincinnati Redlegs, and the St. Louis Cardinals. Kurt was a three-time All-Star and led the league in hits multiple times. Kurt was a rider for all colored folks, just like his mom. After an altercation with a white woman, they had to leave town in fear of being lynched. They moved to Oakland, California, and that's when Kurt began playing baseball. Kurt fell in love with the sport as a kid. In 1969, Kurt Flood declined a trade to Philadelphia. Declining a trade at this time was something unheard of. In this era of sports, they had something called the Reserve Clause. The Reserve Clause basically owned their players. This clause gave owners 100% complete control over the players, and Kurt felt like the players should have more power. But see, that's the thing about professional sports. They don't want you to have any power. And when you demand a raise or fight for better treatment, they want to call you selfish, ungrateful. There is no loyalty in professional sports. It's all about what have you done for me lately. So I don't blame these players for wanting to sit out or wanting to fight for more pay. These owners are making a killing. They're making millions and millions of dollars. You could win 10 Super Bowls in a row, but let you play bad for two or three seasons and they'll be trying to get rid of you because this is a business, it's not personal. So how come folks want these players to stay loyal to these teams and act like it's a family? This is not a family thing, this is a business. When the Tennessee Titans legend Steve Air McNair was towards the end of his career, the Titans was looking to make room for national champ QB Vince Young. Steve McNair went to the Titans facility for a workout during the offseason and they told him that he had to go. They kicked him out because they felt that if he got hurt, they wouldn't be allowed to trade him. So again, this is a business. It's supposed to be like a family thing, right? It's only considered a family and loyalty type of thing when it comes to the players, but not with these owners. So Kurt Flood was able to take his issue to the Supreme Court. Although Kurt lost, he got the ball rolling on everything. He may have lost the decision, but he set the tone for everybody. He opened the eyes of many players and they realized that these owners are making way too much money and they have little power. Kurt's actions also brought in the Kurt Flood rule. The Kurt Flood rule is known as the 10 and 5 rule. It's when a player has played for a team for five straight years and has played in the MLB for a total of 10 years, they have to give their team's consent to be traded. And in 1970, Oscar Robertson and seven other players in the NBA fought for free agency and they won. In 1975, the MLB ended their reserve clause. And this was Kirk Flood's letter to Bowie Kuhn, who was the commissioner of baseball in 1969. After 12 years in the major leagues, I do not feel that I'm a piece of property to be bought and sold irrespective of my wishes. 
I believe that any system which produces that result violates my basic rights as a citizen and is inconsistent with the laws of the United States and of several states. It is my desire to play baseball in 1970 and I am capable of playing. I have received a contract offer from the Philadelphia club, but I believe I have the right to consider offers from other clubs before making any decisions. I therefore request that you make known to all the major league clubs my feelings in this matter and advise them of my availability of the 1970 season. You can dislike LeBron James all you want. What LeBron James does is what Kurt Flood was trying to do. LeBron James comes in and takes complete 100% control over what he wants to do. These owners can't control that brother. This is a brother who comes in and does whatever he likes. The owners can't control him and people get mad. I don't understand all the hate for LeBron. And I'm not a LeBron fanboy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Worth it. Just when baseball owners thought it was safe to go back into the courts, they met a shark and Marvin Miller, the players union chief who finally took down baseball's reserve clause 96 years after National League owners created it to keep down salaries. Now with free agency, could the first million dollar a year player be on the way? No. In tonight's cover story... We are built for this network for the strong, not the weak.